But first, a major bus takes guns and thousands of packets of dangerous drugs off our local streets. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. The feds say these were no small time dealers. They claim the 12 people indicted today were pushing fentanyl and cocaine in Kensington and Fairhill. One of those suspects is still on the run. Take a good look at your screen right now. Investigators need your help to find 28 year old Ahmed Perez. Still for this neighborhood, Operation Black Diamond is a sign of change. CBS Philadelphia's Dan Snyder talked to neighbors who are feeling some relief. I am so happy. Praise the Lord. That's the reaction from one woman when we told her federal authorities say they took down a drug trafficking organization near her Fairhill home. The woman, who did not want to appear on camera, says she's seen a lot of violence in her neighborhood. Yeah, I'm afraid to live here. I hate it. I hate it. I hate this life. I hate this area. I want to move out of here so bad. On Thursday, the U.S. Attorney's Office, ATF, and Philadelphia Police announced federal charges against 12 people. They say were part of a group running drugs and guns in Fairhill and Kensington. This operation is a result of a complex 18-month investigation focusing on the deadly combination of gun and firearms trafficking in Philadelphia. Authorities say they had been looking into the so-called Avila drug trafficking organization, named for alleged leader Wilfredo Avila, since last February. It led to raids on 14 properties last week. Officials say in all, agents purchased and seized two kilos of cocaine, 19,000 packets of fentanyl, and more than 50 guns. Privately manufactured firearms, also known as ghost guns, assault style uh, rifles, stolen guns, pistols, and machine gun conversion devices, also known as switches. ATF officials say those guns will now be processed to see if they're connected to any other crimes. But Philadelphia police say even after the bust, their work isn't done, and they'll continue to keep an eye on these neighborhoods. East Division is a very lucrative business, and it relates to the narcotic trade. And so um, that's one component of it that we monitor as we make these type of busts. Yeah, I hope they do more, because we need these scumbags out of the streets. Officials say 10 of the 12 people charged are in custody, one is awaiting transfer from another state, and they're still looking for 28-year-old Ahmed Perez. Dan Snyder, CBS News, Philadelphia.